Hi, Jason here. In this video, I want to show you a extension for ChatGPT that kind of puts the whole thing on steroids and makes it much quicker for you to do what you want with it. And it offers you the chance to store your own prompts versus having to kind of copy and paste them in from somewhere, text edit or, you know, a, a spreadsheet. Uh, or typing them in every time. So what it is, is it's called AI PRM. It is a, a chat GPT extension. You'll find it for free in the Chrome store. And I'm going to put a link underneath because I must have forgotten the name of this extension about 10 times whenever I've gone to look for it. So um, it's just one of those things, you know, if you're borderline dyslexic like me, you're going to you're going to get AI PRM wrong way around at some point. So um, what does it do? Well, it really just gives you the chance to create things with ChatGPT much quicker. So let's just take a little look at some of these ready to go prompts, if you will. First of all, the, the directory, you've got like a directory of them here. So we can go to copywriting and see all of the prompts. These are ones that people have put into the public domain and made available for everybody. But you can have your own prompts and keep them private or publish them so other people can see them just like this. And then, as I say, there's different ones. There's marketing, operating systems, productivity, SaaS, which stands for software as a service, if you if you didn't know, SEO, search engine optimization, software applications, software engineering, and bits and bobs. So now be aware that some of these are not the best. They're not sort of, you know, written by people who are very good at all. But the ones that are the better ones, generally speaking, will have higher ratings. So just here, if I just zoom in a bit there, you can see this particular one here. Outrank articles got 770 thumbs up, uh, 129,000 views and so on. 643 here for this keyword strategy and so on. So look out and, you know, see how other people are reviewing it. But one thing I did want to say was, I think, you know, for example, this particular one here that says outrank article, I do want you to take that with a pinch of salt because it's basically uh, not entirely true. Now, if I wanted to create a, a, an article or a blog post that outranks somebody else, let's say for the term um, best website builder, okay? So I'm just gonna go best website builder on Google now, and let's take a look at what is the number one rated article for that. Okay, it's techradar.com. So what you can do, and this is this is very clever, is that you can take this article URL. If I just pull this down a little bit here, there you go. I'm going to take that URL and I'm going to paste it in here. And then using this prompt that AIPRM have come up with themselves, actually, it will then uh, get ChatGPT to look at that article. I presume read through it and then create an article which it says will outrank that article. Now, the thing is, as I have been uh, having a look at this, and you'll see for yourself in a minute, it, it does produce quite a good article, but it is not going to magically make you number one on Google. Sorry to burst your bubble if you were thinking that. Um, and I wouldn't blame you for thinking that, to be honest with you, reading the description. I mean, it just says it outranks, you know, the other article that you put in. Um, oh, well, it's just died on me just there. But um, the bottom line is when you see the article produced, it, you know, it is quite good, but it isn't going to be better than this beast just here. I mean, look how long this is. You know, you've got all of the images in there. You've got the pros and the cons, the reasons to buy, the reasons to avoid. The article that is produced by using that particular prompt is really just a classic, you know, title and then an H2 tag, subtitle, bit of content, subtitle, bit of content. And it's no more than 750 to 1000 words max versus this article, which is extensive, you know, human written. And then also the biggest thing of all is that it's on techradar.com. That's probably got a domain authority of goodness knows what. Um, so if you've got like a not particularly powerful new WordPress blog or something and you're thinking, great, I can take this article because it says it outranks it, you know, straight away, then I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. So you're going to need loads of links building over time to your website to build up the domain authority 
which is effectively votes for your website, if you want to look at it like that, which then makes any content on your website that's been well written and keyword research rank higher. But you're just not going to be able to outrank an article. So that was my little rant about that one. Uh, so do be careful with these. But experiment. Like, for example, there was one here for YouTube. Here it is. YouTube script creator, which I thought did actually a really good job. So let's just say um, how to build a website in WordPress. We'll use that as an example. Obviously, we are at the mercy of chat GPT's power here today and we'll see how well it holds up because it keeps dying because it's a sheer volume of people who are using it. Roll on the paid version for everyone because I'll certainly be signing up. But here's, here's a, a YouTube script that this particular prompt has given us and it obviously all we had to do is select it and press go. Uh, it would just type in our you know video script keyword and it was off. So it said here, um, hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to build a website using the world's most popular website builder, WordPress. Whether you're a starting blog, creating an online store, or building a portfolio, WordPress is the perfect platform to help you get your ideas online. And then it goes through all of the steps and everything. And, and it looks pretty good, to be honest with you. I think this could be great for a, a YouTube script. Uh, or for making an automated faceless YouTube video as well, if you wanted to do that, using something like Pictory. Uh, Pictory is a good solution for that. So we just stop generating here. But going back to the actual extension itself, you can also create your own prompts too. So here you can click Add New Prompt Template, and then you would put in your prompt template what you would normally type into uh, ChatGPT. And then you can have a little teaser there, which is basically what the actual thing does. What does the prompt do? And then uh, put your title in, choose the topic that it is for and the activity there. That's like a subcategory if you like. Put your author name in and then just click save prompt. But you can elect to make that public just as all the other ones that you saw were or you can just keep it for yourself and then next time you're able to just go to your own prompts there it is you just click the button and then rapidly you can produce the articles and things the way that you want to or any a particular chat prompts that you're typing in over and over again or copying and pasting in. So it's definitely going to put chat GPT on steroids for you. Um, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe for more. And we'll, you know, together we'll kind of see if we can just absolutely get the most out of chat GPT. Also, uh, whenever you're creating any articles, if you are doing articles or blog posts with chat GPT, as many, many people are, don't forget to use something like Quillbot. I've got a link underneath and that will basically paraphrase your content to be undetectable then by the AI detectors that are available online. Also a link underneath to a whole directory of chat GPT detectors that I've put together for you. You can just click on them and go and try out your content to make sure that it you know, is seen as human written versus AI written. The reason that we're we're doing that is that we're hoping that this kind of covers us for the future in case Google really starts looking at straightforward chat GPT articles as the devil itself and removing them from the index and, you know, not helping us get ranked. So by actually paraphrasing our content, making it slightly different, making it still read right using Quillbot, then, um, you know, hopefully we can do the right thing and keep our content ranked long term. So that's it for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you've got any questions about this, then please do uh, drop a comment underneath the video. I'd love to hear from you and everyone else in the community. Thanks a lot.